Hey guys, what is up? Today I want to share one of the biggest and most helpful things that has helped me when playing ranked. Oftentimes when I'm playing ranked, there are games where my performance is absolutely atrocious. And in those games when I'm playing horribly, the biggest thing that has helped me to recover mid-game is to do the switch method. The switch method, as the name would suggest, is the idea of switching up what you are doing. For instance, I tend to be more of a supportive player who loves playing the objective, as it is one of the core ways of winning the game. And playing for the objective isn't inherently bad, but when our team is losing, sometimes all I can think about when looking at the scoreboard is, oh my gosh, we're falling behind, or if we lose another round, it's going to be almost impossible to win, or I'm going to end up deranking again. And that creates a problem because then I tend to go to a mindset of getting more points on the scoreboard rather than analyzing what I'm doing wrong. The key to recovering is to focus on yourself and how your playing is affecting the team currently. Are you playing the objective too much? Are you top fragging but not making callouts? Are you pulling your own weight? Are you being a team player? If every round all you do is the same thing over and over again but you keep losing, there's clearly a problem. So what I do when I try to fix this is I'll look at my KD and if my KD is negative 2 or below and I barely have any kills, then I'll make the switch to aim on getting more kills, or better yet, staying out of the negative. This is something that I learned when playing Halo 3 because oftentimes when we were down by a lot, all I could concentrate on was the final scoreboard and not my own performance. But once I realized that I was dying too much, I slowed down my pacing and switched gears on what I was actually doing. Whenever you find yourself not performing well, figure out what the problem is. Stop doing the same thing round after round because when you do that, you become predictable. Likewise, if you are a top fragger and are still losing, the question you need to ask is, am I focusing way too much on getting kills? If you have a positive KD, but you're not making callouts or sticking with your team, then that's also on you as well. You can't one moment be fully blaming your teammates for low KDs, but on the other hand, leaving them in the dust. If you are more of a fragger, then you need to switch your focus more on playing the objective and teamwork. Even if your teammates have a plan that you may not be in 100% agreement with, it still is more beneficial for you to stay with your teammates and help them out. I promise you, even if you don't win your next game, you will become a better player. Stop doing the same thing over and over again, because just as Vas Montegro said, Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? 